All right, here we go. This is my first ever instructional video, so I hope you enjoy it. Uh, this is for any drummer out there looking to play some wacky time signatures and uh, have a lot of fun while you're doing it. So this is in 15 with an 8-8 eight, eight, and then a 7-8. We're going to build both of these out of 3-8 and 2-8 chunks. So uh, the 2-8 chunk is kick, kick, snare, snare. Um, and then the 3-8 chunk is kick, kick, snare, 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 snare. I'm sure lots of you have built an 8-8 eight, eight piece out of twos and threes like this before. So let's look at the 8-8 eight, eight component. So it's a 3, a 3, and then a 2. So kick, kick, snare, 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 kick, kick, snare, 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 kick, kick, snare, snare. Let's check it out. There's the 8-8 eight, eight component. I'll play that again a couple times back to back. Right? So, 3-3-2, three, three, add that all up, you got the 8. After the 8-8 eight, eight piece, to get to the 15, uh, we add on a 7-8 component. So the 7-8 component is 3-2-2. Two, two. So, kick, kick, snare, 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 kick, kick, snare, snare, kick, kick, snare, snare. Three, two, two. Let's hear that. So, three, two, two. Makes seven. Let me play that a couple times back to back. There you go. So you've got the 8-8 eight, eight piece and the 7-8 piece. Now I recommend before you put them together and play in 15 that you work on the 8-8 eight, eight piece, get that down. First off, that's going to be super useful because most, most things are in 4-4. Four, four. So you do the 8-8, eight, eight, that's the same thing as 4-4. Four, four. It's a really fun break. It's a super heavy driving break. So that's something you could use in normal 4-4 four, four stuff. So get that down first. And then separate from that, also work on the 7-8 component. Uh, it's a good way to practice, you know, when you're getting there and you're doing your drills, maybe your drills are getting a little boring. You throw in something in an odd time signature so that your muscles are working on simple tasks, but your, work, your brain's working on the complex tasks of playing something in 7-8. So work on the 8-8, work on the 7-8, and then put them together and practice the 15. So that's going to be the 8 and then the 7. Now I'm going to play that for you and you can see what it sounds like. Okay, so that's the whole 15, 8-8 eight, eight, and then followed by the 7-8. I'm going to do that one more time as just once through. Okay, so again, the 15 part is 8, 3-3-2, three, three, followed by a 7-3-2-2. 3-3-2-3-2-2-2. Get that pattern in your head, and you know the three piece, you know the two piece, because by this point you've practiced playing the eight, you've practiced playing the seven. Now the goal is to put those together. Let's do it, and I'll play it twice through. I'll play 15 and then 15 more. Okay, so where this becomes super fun is once you get the pattern down, and you can also do this just playing the 8-8 eight, eight, and just playing the 7-8, but push it your limits on how fast you can play it. Sometimes the twos for me end up being more flams than actual like 16th notes, but it still sounds really good even when you're pushing it up to your maximum. So say maybe something like this. So 
another thing you can do with this, this is really fun, uh, you can keep the doubles on your feet, and then you can move, uh, instead of doing 16th notes on your, uh, uh, with your sticks on your hands, you can instead change those to 8th notes played together, and you can play together on the ride and the snare, uh, the hi-hat and the snare, the floor tom and the snare, your crashes, you can move it around, um, it's super fun. And then that's where this could actually be uh, a very driving beat in something like a math course song, if you're into that kind of stuff. Um, so let's see, uh, I'm going to go ahead and play that for you. I'll just play it on the hi-hat and snare, uh, and since, you know, I'm just, I'm not really doing anything that requires a lot of coordination, I'm playing the sticks together, I'm going to do this open-handed. Alright, so something like this. That's what it sounds like there. Let's hear it on the ride. Or if you want to do like some crazy build, uh, for some reason in 15, you can put it on the snare and the floor tom. Lots of fun, lots of fun this beat. And it really will, you can exercise both your speed uh, with your kick and your, uh, your double kick and your snare, you're playing those doubles and those quads. Um, and then you can also have a lot of fun with the brain exercise of playing in the strange time signature. Um, you know, you can move it around the toms and on the snare and have some fun with that. This is where I tend to trip over myself a lot, but you can do something, uh, you can do a lot of fun with this, like maybe, uh I like to do a, a back and forth between maybe a break type thing and then a fun uh, pattern on like say the ride and the snare. So let's see what that might sound like. That was all right. Uh, had a little dynamics in the front, but that's how it goes when you're practicing. This is a complex beat. Uh, and remember, when you're playing it, uh, give yourself some latitude. You know, slow yourself down, speed yourself up. Uh, mix it in there when it feels good. When it stops feeling good, work on something else. Like anything else, drums is all about having fun. That's the most important part. Thank you so much for watching. I think that's where we'll end this first video. Uh, this is my first ever instructional video. If you like this, uh, you can click the like, you can hit the subscribe button. Uh, that really does actually help out, especially a fledgling new channel like this. So uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I look forward to putting out another one of these. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments. And if you have an idea for something like, hey, play something in this time signature, let me know. And I'll make a video with that time signature. Thanks again for watching.